Are you ready for... Reaction time. What's up, family? Back with another one. Here go the review of Obi Wan Kenobi season one, episode six, the final. Um, guys, this episode was phenomenal. I wish they would have done a lot more before this one, but we gotta get what we can get. Hope Disney's learned from some of the um actions. I will say, Mandalorian stills the best first and second season. Hopefully, they do another season. Um, let's just talk about it. The stuff of Reva kind of threw the show off. Um, they didn't do her a lot of justice. I wish they would have did it a little more justice. I ain't gonna say it was horrible, but it was like, uh, jumping from that to the fight scenes. The fight between Vader and Obi Wan was exceptional. I've heard people, some people say they feel like you know it's not good compared to the fights that um George did, but to me, yeah, it was good. You can't really compare it to the fight on New Hope. New Hope, they both was really old, to be honest. Anakin, when I mean, Vader wasn't even young. Obi Wan was older, of course, but Vader wasn't that young no more. So they both was pretty spry. Obi Wan was still older, but they were still, you know, it was spry. So them dancing like that, you gotta remember. I don't know if people really pay attention. Some people have to watch things more than one time for they get a review. But some of these bigger YouTubers get reviews, and people just suck it up. But I'm gonna just be honest, man. It honestly was a lot of passion and anger in that fight. So like, when you got a situation where y'all have all this brotherhood with someone i don't know if some of them even had in their life where they've been so close to someone that they fall apart and if you guys were to come back together and try to solve your problems maybe you'll have a battle a physical battle like that that might end up with somebody getting seriously hurt because of the fact that you both are so close so you know I, that's just my opinion you know um i wish they would the age um uh general um um general gunner he looked real old and um, I I guess you know maybe that was right for the show. I don't know how old he was when he was growing up. We really don't know that. Um, the Sidious camo was dope. Qui Gon camo just was out of this world. That part of it was phenomenal. Uh, some people keep complaining about some of the show looks cheap. In this episode, I didn't see that. The only episode I seen things that looked a little weird. I think it was episode three, maybe when they was in a desert type thing i didn't really care for that part but other than now i don't feel like the show looked cheap um the desert and shit was expected um i think they did a lot of real uh area shooting on this one so when people talk about the man lord and look better if you don't know stop talking but if you go watch disney plus and go look at the behind the scenes for season one season two of man lord they shot it all on this stage thing and everything was um VR basically it wasn't real environments they was made up environments with streams and stuff like that so stop judging this show like that because I heard a lot of this show was shot, shot on locations so it was made like the real movies were made um like New Hope you know shot in the real desert area so it looked more real so that was another thing and it was shot on film you know obviously but um yeah, I, I mean, I liked the, the Vader and Obi Wan thing. That was highlight of the show. Um, I can't think of the guy named that Ice Cube son plays. O'Shea Jackson Jr. plays, but I like him. I want to see some more about him and resistant fighters. It'd be dope to have a series like that. Um, and that's about it. I I really don't have much more to say, man. I would give it a um overall the episode an eight out of ten. Um, if that stuff with, um, Luke and Obi-Wan meet at the end, he said, hello there. You know, that was pretty dope. Uh, Owen and them fighting and Baru fighting for, um, Luke was off the charts and awesome. So I appreciate all of that. All of that was dope, man. I don't hate it. Uh, some people, like I said, watch it more than one time because I don't feel like a series was horrible. I feel like there's a lot of things they could have did better. They focused a lot on Layla, which I didn't like, but I mean, that's the direction they went with it uh they had to try to make it make sense for obi-wan and vader to meet before so i don't i wouldn't say it's a bad thing the way they met and then it makes sense when you go in new hope and he's like last time i was just a student now i am the master so he knew that now i can beat you but man he did beat obi-wan in the fight before new hope we didn't know that burnt his arm and everything we never know how that happened 
So, you know, we cut the mess. And then, you know, of course, we know that in the future that happens when he fights Ahsoka, when he's a lot older than where he is now. So, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I liked it. It was dope. I, I want another season and I want some things done better. Uh, I think Reva should be maybe give her own spin off of something different. Um, her origin story ain't bad, but I feel like they, they cheated the character in some ways, but she's still alive. So she ain't the third sister no more, but she's still Reva. So hopefully we find more about her maybe in the future Star Wars theme. Like, comment, subscribe, guys, and I'll see you next one. Peace. Thanks for all the support.